Hey folks, Weston here at Rattlesnake Acres again. Today we're uh, at my grandpa's shop. I'm gonna do some playing on some boards. Uh, this is one of my favorite places growing up. We had uh, a lot of tools and stuff at our disposal to tear stuff apart mainly. Not much on the putting stuff back together, but... Uh... Hey man, what is that you sitting on over there? Glad you asked. So folks, we got here I've been telling you in the videos, we did some sawing and uh, told you my grandpa was building a uh, bobsled. He had the, uh, he had the runners already. He's had those sitting in the shop for as long as I've been alive. But uh, anyway, he got it done. And uh, this was a lot like the sled his dad used up in Minnesota to uh, skid logs on. His dad had a mill and that's what they did for a living is ran the mill. But, uh, so I guess kind of runs in the bloodline being on a sawmill. Half of, uh, that side of the family has one. But anyway, you can see under there is, uh, you got a skid up front and skids up back and those chains that, uh, where's my finger? This chain will pull and bring that other one around with the front one so pretty cool guys but anyway we're gonna be using this planer today and we're gonna plane some boards down to make our doors so stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe appreciate y'all watching Somebody made a mess. Let's get this cleaned up. That's much better. All right, folks, remember, if you come over and borrow somebody else's stuff, put it back where you found it. But y'all notice I put these shavings in a bag. That is for chickens. So I know there's a lot of people going, well, shouldn't you use pine? No, not necessarily. You can use just about anything except for cherry and walnut. They're the only two I know of that are toxic to animals. But, uh, I know there's some guy saying, well, I've been doing that for years. Well, Jim Bob, not everybody has a planer. And not everybody's been doing it for years. So, guys, if you don't have a planer, you don't work with wood much, but you have chickens, reach out. Chances are you know somebody that has a planer or does some woodworking. And they just throw that stuff away normally or burn it. So, reach out. See if you can find somebody. Maybe they'll let you have some. You won't have to go buy it. We'll head to the house with our... Carhartt. No, I'm just kidding. Our fresh plain boards. But, uh, yeah. Then maybe tomorrow we'll work on making some doors. Thanks for watching. What's up, guys? I want to show you something here. Uh, well, in my last video, I said I would never buy a case knife because I didn't want to pay the money for it. Well, my father in law, who is, besides my wife, probably one of the biggest supporters of the channel. He got me one for Christmas, so I finally got a case knife, so hopefully I don't lose it. It's kind of a kind of nerve-wracking packing this thing around because I have a tendency to lose things. But anyway, I'm going to change the saw on the skill saw. Skill saw. Ugh. Can't talk today, but uh, I'm going to rip one side of these boards down to make sure they're perfectly, they'll line up perfect. And I'll show you all how I'm going to do that. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So my thought here, this this may work out horribly. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I'm gonna uh, stretch a line out here, and that'll give me one square side. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saw that. And then I'll, after I get all of them ripped down on one side, I'll take my square and run along there, and I'll show you all that here in a minute.
All right, so now we got that side. Uh, I guess call it squared off. I don't know. Remember, guys, I'm I'm no carpenter. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go four and a half. Alright guys, I'm going to go a different direction. So you get the rough cut here. I think the glue will stick a lot better to it if it's not completely smooth. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and glue it together. And I don't have... I meant to steal some clamps. I mean borrow some clamps from my dad. But uh, I forgot. So I'm going to use ratchet straps. And uh, it's going to be a good time. So stick around. Alright guys, so what I've done is <coughs> glued this down. Uh, got a little camera malfunction. So, y'all didn't get to see that, but you get the point. I'm doing this so the boards are good and level. I'll pull these other boards back off before I finish the door. And what I'll do, guys, is any cracks that I have once this is set, I'll just go back and fill in with uh, wood glue. What we got here? I have seven foot to here. I was wanting a seven foot door, so that'll work out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, Maybe a little shorter than some of them I posted in the past. And I apologize for that, but uh, you just you do what you can, guys. But anyway, uh, we we're running a contest for names for the chainsaw. Now, the sawmill, of course, is named Clint Eatswood. So uh, we had uh, Jennifer White commented and said uh, to name it the Duke after John Wayne. And the girls and I thought that was really clever, and uh, so y'all meet the Duke. But uh, I appreciate y'all voting on that. And, uh, guys, we've, uh, we broke 100 subscribers on this channel. So that's, uh, that's really exciting to me. And I appreciate anybody who has subscribed. And I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, I really didn't expect it to go past the, uh, 25 or 30 people that I knew that were friends and family, you know, that, uh, were kind of obligated to subscribe. But, uh, I appreciate them. And I appreciate all that, have subscribed and liked my videos and uh if you haven't liked and subscribed go ahead and do that if you want to and if you don't want to that's fine but uh come on back and see us sometime and we'll be up to something here on rattlesnake acres but uh anyway until next time y'all be well god bless you and thank y'all for watching